a brawl nearly broke out in Congress this week. Uh, not between Republicans and Democrats. No, no, no. Democrats are kind of staying out of all this. This is just the Republican civil war that is absolutely blowing up to epic proportions behind the scenes in Congress and sometimes not even behind the scenes. So what happened just a couple days ago was that you had two groups of Republicans, those who support Mike Johnson as speaker and those who want to get rid of him. They approached him all together in the hallway. And the people defending Mike Johnson were like, you've got to move forward on this Ukraine funding bill. We've got to get this done. We have to take care of this. And the other folks were like, oh, hell no, you're not going to do that. If you do it, we're going to kick you out. Yeah. Well, it'll cause chaos. We don't care. And one person on the don't do this side was Matt Gates. One of the other people on the, you have to do this side was uh, Republican representative Derek Van Orden from Wisconsin. And they're shouting, everybody's yelling at each other. Everybody's getting in Mike Johnson's face, according to the reports. And eventually Van Orden <laughs> called Matt Gates tubby. Now it was unclear at first, you know, some people, some of the reporters that were present thought that he was calling Mike Johnson tubby. <laughs> But then Van Orden came out and cleared the air and he made this statement. Uh, that tubby insult was directed directly at Matt Gates. He felt like he could call me a squish. And I wanted to remind anybody who has not been in combat and held his friend's hand as they died, bring shot by the enemy really doesn't have any business calling someone else a squish. And so in fact, I did call him tubby and I stand by that. I don't, I don't know what a squish is. I, I don't know that I want to know what a squish is. Okay. I, I, I have uh, preteens and teenagers. It's hard enough keeping up with all of their new slang that they're throwing around like Riz and all that. I know I seem super old saying all that, but like, I don't want to know what a squish is, but I'm assuming based on Van Orden's response, it's probably not a good thing. So he calls Matt Gates tubby. And Matt Gates, of course, fired back in the media said, you know, oh, I'm not tubby. <laughs> now look, Matt Gates, when he came to Congress, he was a chubby little guy, but he's clearly lost a lot of weight. You know, he's not, not what he used to be, but none of that matters. It's not about the names that they are calling each other. You're a squish. Well, you're tubby. The point is we're dealing with giant children, children walking around in men's suits. These people are the people that make decisions that impact your daily life. These are the people who make decisions that impact what happens across the globe. And here they are in a hallway because they disagree on a policy, screaming insults at each other and not even caring who was around to hear it, right? The press saw all of this happen. And these people are so immature and so childish that they don't even care. Let the world know that I called him tubby. You know what? I'm going to go out there and address the press and call you tubby again. Cause you called me a squish. This is utter insanity folks. But also at the same time, this is insanity that the Democrats really need to be capitalizing on. I mean, if I'm a political strategist, I am out there telling my democratic candidates, you know, uh, the people I'm working for, put this in an ad right now, put it in an ad, get it out there, put it on social media, put it on television, make people see how immature and juvenile these Republicans really are and point out the implications of this. You know, they're sitting there name calling one another, like they're 10 years old. Meanwhile, they're also voting on whether or not we're going to help our allies, whether or not we're going to have low cost medication. They can't be trusted to even get along with each other. So why voters out there, would you trust them to make these decisions about your life? That's the ad the Democrats need to put out right now. And don't worry if you don't get it this time, trust me, these Republicans are going to keep fighting and give you more ammo than you'll know what to do with.